team captains, all in white. It's Kai Cahill and Jarvan Y in the yellow of the Solomon Islands. The pleasantries are exchanged. We will enjoy the coin toss. It's a beautiful afternoon for football here in Tamaki Makoto, Auckland. The chain strip of all white attacking the goal to your right. The man at the bottom of the picture is the very experienced Michael Song. He will be coordinating with Alex King, our match referee, to kick this match off on time. Kick off about 30 seconds away. So that final victory, unless we have a winner from this match today, and six points will be enough to get one of these two teams through to the semi-finals. Well, Samoa will get us started, and it is the impressive man in the number 10 shirt, Greg Siamoa. He was everywhere in the match against Tonga. Got himself on the score sheet, assisted as well. And uh, if it wasn't for the hands of Nimi Lotet Moala, it could have been more. But we are underway at the Trust Stadium. Change through sickness, and that is Luke Tolo Kent, who has made way for Philip Fatialofa. So Fatialofa will take his position on the right hand side of that back three. Well, clearance only as far as Fox, and Fox's strike just whistles past Joel Bartley's goal. Well, a chance inside of DeGroote Green. He saw a lot of this sort of direct passing from DeGroote Green. This is club football out of Dunedin City Royals in the South Island of New Zealand. Nathan Stowers is looking for a free kick. But uh, only a throw in given on the Australian official king. Um, that brisk, you know, cold winter uh, weather in, in Auckland. That's why there's some gloves. You see over there today. Well, Degroot Green, he'll be used to the cold. And uh, playing his football down in. Good going forward as well. And yeah, he did find himself in a good uh, scoring position there. Well, he was fouled for the second penalty was Ohasio after he scored himself the second goal. Just a view there of uh, his prowess up front as the ball is clearly won there. Good early signal by Alex King, Junior Rocky. Yeah, in the end he plays it directly to kind of honey mate. Here's Rocky. Well, Caleb De Groot Green wins in great position there to see that one won cleanly by Jesse Vine doing his defensive duties. To identify players. Samoa and descent in CMO there just making a nuisance for Ohasia to deal with. Here's the ball flicked in and a slip at the back post. Well, it was a chance there and a big one. And I think it's quite dangerous for Samoa, like you said before, the tall team is coming in. But that is a dangerous deal of players in there. Back live now and Junior Petua, oh, he's made a great save at the feet there. Didn't catch the number. But uh, Samoa, with a couple of big chances. Well, a yellow of pace. And we'll need to keep an eye on the man in the number 19 shirt for the Solomon Islands. Here he is on the ball now. And a shot comes in. Yes, that's right, Seamus. I think, um, yeah, both sides are still, you know, Trying to find their feet, I guess. Trying to see where where they can penetrate more or, you know, what they, they can do. But it's good. And the ball just bobbling. Here's Ohasio. Just to get past Stowers. Here's the delivery. Oh, there's a bit of swerve on that delivery. Yamoa. He's Junior Rocky. It was Edo Dao, actually. Here's Cahill. Looking to square up Stanton Alec. And as well, Cahill. Javin Y just taking a little bit too long on that clearance. Kofana. Now is they had great success in opening opportunities so far. Look to just change things up, play through the thirds. Oh, 
here is De Groot Green just looking for that diagonal pass he's found a willing recipient in Victor Liddy Liddy in turn back to Gobi well the keeper's going to claim that Junior Petua Stanton Alec Plays it forward to Calvin Ohasia. And foul there, Stowers. Here's Ohasia. Looking to square up Fatilofa. Fatilofa already on a yellow card, so he cost Tonga. And their 4-0 loss against Vanuatu. Silly free kick here. Miscontrolled. Defensive uh, oh, Jarvan White just asks Norman Winford to reach this, and he does. He's got two targets to aim for inside the penalty area, and he so only as far as Ido Dow. Ido Dow, it's a shot from. It's a good save. An example of the pace of Norman Winford. And it's Liddy. It's an opportunity. Oh, there's Winford. We saw a flicked header from Juan Gobi the last time we had a free kick down this end. It's a looped delivery. And uh, this is through. Here's Jesse Vine. And he cleared out. Uh, only as far as Junior David doesn't beat the first defender. And Junior Rocky puts the afterburners on. And he... Burst clear of Ethan Stowers. Uh, Malaulu clears that. And uh, in the process, Junior Rocky commits a foul. He's looking to build some pressure with possession here. And the first chance for Junior David to get himself further forward. Just couldn't bring that under control. Thread. Through the needle pass from Ido Dow. Kofana, good skills to evade CMR there. Here, Stadium Mount Smart on Wednesday next week. There's a chance here. And uh, yes, they have. I think there's a good build up play again. Um, again, Woodford. Uh, on goalkeeper. And here's another opportunity for Winford just to show that blistering speed that he possesses. Partly does enough to make initial contact with that. And it bounced clear. Uh, the Solomons just starting to turn the screws on Samoa and build chances. Well, Hasea's ball finds Junior Rocky. And Javin Y finds himself a long way forward, does the captain. Unfortunately, this man, Fatia Lofa. He didn't read the script and uh, elected to go longer early as Junior Rocky rides a challenge and bears down on the Samoan goal. And uh, that one just... Rocky going forward there, winning the ball himself from the from the middle of the park. I think, yeah, that's the... Winford. Uh, he just looked to roll on the outside of the Samoan defender there. Well, flying into that one is uh, it's a red card. Alford Kanahanimai has been sent off. Well, the Solomon Islands midfielder. I guess in front of him. Look at that. Yes. When you have your feet up, when this. Clever from Alex Stanton there. Longer pass through. It's Junior Rocky that's going to chase through this one on. Comes forward to receive that. And he continues his run as a Solomon Islands captain. Well, he was score a two times goal scorer from the penalty spot. Yeah, as you can see, the, the replay again. Again, you won the ball nice and cleanly there. And then again. This one. And at the moment, the Solomon Islands need 
to reassess. Siamoa finds himself further forward. We haven't seen much of him today. He was in the middle of everything. Some passes. A few step overs there and a in swinging delivery. Quick to try and press as Fox ends up with it and plays a little through ball to Ohasio. Who now looks to get the better of Philip Fatialofa himself on a yellow card early. Fatialofa, a late replacement for Luke Tolo Kent, who is out of the match day squad altogether today with illness. Challenge from Leon Kofana. He'd won the ball. There was no doubt from Alex King. He'd given a goal kick. Here's Winford now looking to deliver a ball in. Bartley spilt it, and it's an easy tap in for Junior Rocky. Well, almost against the run of play, the Solomon Islands have opened the scoring. Joel Bartley, a couple of times now. Again, breaking down the line. That's some pace on the ball. That's why, as well, I think that's why um, Bartley spilled the ball. He rejoins the play in the meantime. Junior Patua steps in front of Ethan Stowers. Countries as well. You always have that generation of, you know, the players that are, you know, coming up and doing well. Here's a chance for Siamoa. Gets a strike on and it's deflected away for a corner. Good lay of good number nine play there from Cahill. Laying it off and a good, that's a very good um, third man running from uh, Siamoa. And like, Facing forward, he's preventing that one from entering the back of the net as the delivery comes in on the cross. The group green gets a good connection, but uh, breaking free, it's a heavy touch in the end. And we'll have a minimum of three minutes time added on in the first half. As Junior David finds himself in an advanced position. Here he is again on the ball, the right back. Looking for options, finds one in Rocky. And the two juniors, Samoa now look to break free. And Liddy sits off, and the ball is great play in here. And the flag goes up on the near side. Isaac Trevis quick to, who really is starting to become an influential player for Samoa in this match. He's playing in a deep line. Fana just plays longer and Junior Rocky just bumps up against Salisbury. Rocky does need to be careful. He is on a yellow card. Help. And they play their way out of the defensive third to the Solomon Islands with some ease there. And Rocky sets off on a foot race with Fatih Lofa. He doesn't win that one. Samoan defender out muscles. Solomon Island striker. Wins a corner. Was Kafana. Fox now finds Ohosia on the far side. Fatih Lofa has been impressive for me, Henry. Coming into the side, Enotaro. In Otaro. In Otaro does enough to win the ball back. Position turned over again, so a little bit of transition play here. And Pitua decides. Get away there. Oh, Hasea just apologises. Loafer just smearing this one down the field. Oh, 
It's a longer ball here, and it's Unger bearing down on Joel Bartley. Goes around the keeper, and Bartley recovers well. It's great goalkeeping from the diminutive Samoan custodian, stood firm. Yeah, that was a great ball through there. Direct play from Solomon Islands, and yeah, one-on-one -on -one situation. But again, great keeping. Show him to one side. That was right. Great to get another look on that. Here's Chavin White. Oh, he gets a shot away. Oh, it's back in the back of the net. Well, Joel Bartley blocked the first effort. And Javin White, with his third goal of the tournament, moves to the top of the Golden Boot standings. From another set piece, but it's a bit of scramble there. But again, you know, putting the body in line there, but Javin White, that's... You do know if he's a defender or a striker. That is like a, um, a forward. Generated here in New Zealand. There were fears before that tournament started that uh, the stadiums would be, be empty as an under hit pass there. It's Fox and he puts it away. Well, Ben Fox makes Samoa pay a straight ball. And Fox blindsided the Samoan defender there and slotted home past Joel Bartley. Yeah, there's no weight on the pass and probably yeah, both the keeper and the... Well, the Solomon Islands are starting to warm to this OFC men's Olympic qualifier. There's a longer pass over the top. And Junior Patua outside his area, does well to deal with that. Just trot on the ball, with a half a chance on goal. As Aunga again gets in behind. A Samoan to two other Solomon Islands with one pass over the top to try and work on the pace. It's a great challenge. With the blonde streak in his hair. There's uh, that cross. It was across the Samoan six yard box. Or most important game on the weekend. Well, just over 20 minutes to play. Let's not write Samoa off just yet. It's a long way to climb at 3 0 down. They were. Three goals to the good against Tonga. And Cahill sets off on this one into Confederation cooperation. Oh, that's a fantastic little piece of skill from. Oh, ball in between. The two Samoan defenders, and the flag is up. It's streaming forward. Matilofa just looks to Salisbury, looking to get further forward. Well, Siamoa and uh, Kaya Cahill were prom uh, Siamoa as well. They've been less prominent than they were against Tonga. It's a good first touch through. And looking to link up on the far side there. With the new man, three goals has put them in a position of some comfort. He's good, he's good. Oh, it's a good ball through. Fatilofa, he's made a number of last to link up with uh, Francis, another one of the second half substitutes for Eddie Marahare. Good battle here between Taibo and retain position or we'll bring others in around him and they're just delayed a little bit long there on the pinch for the defender yeah that's right I think they haven't forced Junior Patua into a save hint of hand ball there from Cahill not seen by Patua just getting himself into a bit of trouble here he's lost position Cahill with a goal at his mercy, gets a block. It's still not done yet for the Solomon Islands. Well, now that was an opportunity for Samoa to get themselves back in. And there's a long it's for player of the match. It's been a good team performance for the Solomon Islands. Really, no mm. one stood out. The ball lofted in, and Samoa, good first touch. Can he carry eight? A shooting opportunity. Lays it off for De Groot Green. Yeah. 
especially you know with the players of CMR there and yeah Junior David loses position there CMR oh, maybe a little bit of fatigue he's played what take on Vanuatu on the last match day it's almost the wry smile on the face of the Solomon Island striker Tua comes a long way. He's in Lee Ramo. Wonder how many minutes of stoppage time we will be expecting. Can't remember too many stoppages in the second half. Salisbury finds himself a long way forward, but his cross is. See another substitute preparing in the background for Samoa as the ball played over the top. But the flag goes up. This will give the opportunity. Tybo plays it into the path. The, yeah, he's done well for himself. Francis. There's a chance here for Henley Ramo if it breaks his way. And once again. As we enter the last minute of time added on, unless Alex King can find some more, as to Groot Green. Just the There's a good ball in through. And again, deep running um, uh, player there, De Groot.